Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters welcome to another video on exercise by the end of today's video inshallah you should be able to know how to create an 80s chrome text in photopia so let's jump right into it but before we jump right into it please consider subscribing liking this video and comment out what would you like to see more on this channel now let's get into the tutorial okay now we've got a new document here press t to get our text tool and i'm going to write out retro like so let me just align this to the middle and then after i'm going to change my background double click and then i'm going to add a color overlay and I'm going to make this black press ok and then once you've done that I'm going to make my font a bit thicker well bolder I guess you could say and by the way the font I'm using is Bevis Nuer you can download it from any site and I'm going to go here to character and I'm going to press on this and as you can see it just made it a bit thicker and I'm also going to make it italic by pressing the one next to it like so and after we've done that on the text layer double click color overlay and I'm going to make the brightness to 50 so it's like a grayish color that's okay and then i'm gonna go to bevel and boss add and copy these settings make sure the size on inner bevel the technique is on smooth and the direction is on up and change your depth to 1000 and i'm gonna put the size on five depending on the size of your document you may want to change it to 10 to 15 the size of my document is 1280 is the size of the youtube thumbnail and keep the softness on 0% and change your angle to 60 on the top and 30 on the bottom and if you want you can use global angle but if you have like other things that have bevel and emboss for example another text if you use global angle and your other text have global angle when you may when you change this angle here it will change the same on the other text if you know what you know what I mean so I'm not gonna do that and make sure the contours on default if you want to change your contour just go on the upside down triangle here and then the default one is right here select off and change your blending mode to screen keep this color on white and keep your opacity on 20 the bottom blending mode on multiply and keep the color black and keep that on 20 as well okay once you've done that just move out the effect let me just zoom in a bit i'm gonna press on contour like so and i'm gonna keep it on default and i'm gonna keep on one percent and once you've done that press ok and the same text layer was selected on go down here to new folder and press ok and then after i'm just going to drag my text layer into the folder so just isolate the effects on the text into one group ok once we've done that select on the folder and press new layer and make sure this layer is not inside the folder and once we've done that press g on a new layer and then press d to make sure it's reset to the default colors and then while holding shift, I'm going to go from the bottom to a little bit to over the top, like this. I'm zoom out. And then add a clipping mask to the new layer by right clicking it. Or if you're on touchpad, use two of your fingers and just press on the touchpad at the same time. Like not actually click, but like lightly touch it. And then add a clipping mask like so. And then after, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And then I'm going to change the opacity to 50 like so and as you can see it just creates this nice smooth effect around our text and once we've done that on the same layer go down here to new just layer and then add gradient map then go up here to the upside down triangle and then i got these gradients from texture labs i'm gonna put the link for that in the description it's a free download and you can choose for oh here yeah, i forgot about that make sure the clipping mask is on so it's clipped only on the text and you got lots of gradients to choose from so for example this one that looks transformers if you know what i mean so many more to choose from but i'm gonna choose this purple one this one is my favorite and then select off that and i forgot one more thing go back on your text double click into lay styles and press on stroke and then copy these settings once again keep the size of the stroke to five pixels the position inside the blend mode screen and keep the opacity to 20 and make sure you have overprint and change the filter to gradient and make sure this is not on reverse and then i'm going to edit my gradient by pressing on this and make sure your you have two blacks on one on each side if you want to change the color or add another gradient just click and add a white one to the middle like so and make sure the position is on 50 percent press ok Keep this style to change shape burst, align with the layer, and keep your angle at 90 degrees. The rest of this is on default, and then press OK. And as you can see, 
people go out like chrome tech straight away like an 80s vibe if you know what i mean but like, i forgot what to do next i'm gonna add the outer glow not on the text layer because it wouldn't work but it'll get messed up so i'm just gonna add it to the folder double click outer glow and i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep your uh, blending mode on the screen pass you on 25 and I'm gonna choose like a pinkish color to match with the purplish vibe. And I'm gonna keep my size on 40. You may want to change this depending on the size of your document or image. And the ratio on 50%. I make sure the contour is on default. And then press OK. And as you can see, this is this is looking really good already. And I'm gonna add a stroke, like so. Is it just the same settings as before? And then, after you add the stroke, I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. It will just go down a bit, like so. And then, I'm going to keep most of it the same, but I'm going to change the angle on some other things. So, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to change this one to 90, and the bottom one to 80, like so. And then, instead of going the offside down, try and go to edit it. We're going to create a custom contour by pressing on this. And then, I'm going to go to the bottom left one, click on it. And then change the x axis input or whatever it's called to 100 and then the bottom one to 99 like so and keep this on smooth and press ok and after we change the contour keep it on screen multiply this time i'm going to change the top one to 25 and the bottom one to 50. instead of screen i'm going to change it to linear dodge like so so it just makes it a bit brighter. Let's see how it looks like if the opacity was up. Yeah, nah, that's super bright. You can keep it anywhere between 70 to 25 in my opinion. I'm gonna keep my one on 25 and then press OK, like so. And then we're gonna go back to our text layer, double click to open our slay lay style menu. And then I'm gonna add an inner shadow like this. And straight away, if you notice, it just created like a bendy curve in our gradient so in the settings all i did is change this blending mode to multiply kept the opacity to 25 keep the angle at 60 this distance and spread on zero and the spread on 15 but with this one like i said before with the others you can mess around with it see which one fits you best you can do like this well it's a bit too much but something like this or keep it simple anywhere between obviously it's up to you but safe spot for me is like 15 to 25 so i'm gonna keep my one on 20 and for contour i change it to this one right here which is like kind of like a s um and then yeah press okay and then yeah that's our text done and i'm gonna add some lens flare which is basically stars to make the effect look more appealing so let me just do some magic and then i'm gonna go here to blending mode and i'm gonna change it to screen like so and if you want to change the color of the lens there press ctrl and u what is this man yeah press ctrl and u to get our your saturation out and press on colorize and change it to whatever color you want or if you just want a plain white glow all you have to do is just change the saturation all the way to zero and then press ok now i'm going to resize it down to maybe a bit smaller and i want to add it to right here ctrl j to duplicate it and then i'm going to add one here like so ctrl j put it there maybe a bit smaller just make it blender is that good enough and yeah this is quite nice and there's another lens flare which is wait let me just get it out ctrl v to get the other lens flare out don't worry this will all be in the description down below for you to download and then after i'm going to change the blending mode to screen like i did before let me just scale it down and make it nice and small maybe one you don't want to overdo it as well like not mm, like that maybe and yeah this is how you create a 80s chrome text so done with that i'm gonna add a space background control on v like so and i'm gonna rescale this to yeah like this and then i'm gonna go to the left side of my screen the crop tool 
Digital Crop Pixels and press OK. And then I'm gonna put this under everything. Well, maybe not everything under everything. Like so. And then, yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day. See you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.